Charlie. Back on another Friday. You don't want to turn your phone volume down so it doesn't echo. How do I do it? Oh my god, what do you mean? Just turn the volume down, bro. No, it's Watch okay. party. You say go down to it. Okay, scroll down. How y'all doing out there? <laughs> Thank y'all for okay. tapping in. <laughs> We're we start. here. We're live. It's Hugh. another wonderful My man, Friday. man, Hugh Chambers. What's going on? All in the building. C to the banks. It's me. Time here. Today. He on time today. He is on time. Late. We I'm running right. a little bit behind Far schedule, three. but we here. I don't know if my mic is on, though. 248-809-5004. If y'all ain't doing Testing. nothing, Testing. There it is. In. There she goes. Questions of the day. So we're going to start this thing off with um, what y'all think about this Pop Smoke thing? Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. I know nothing of it. Like okay, how they say it is, uh, st- what they're saying is putting your name, putting your, uh, he, he your, your Addy, name. as my as Gilly the Kid said, yeah. Putting your Addy on Instagram Man. and and Facebook and yeah. Snapchat, putting your address on everything, putting your location basically. Yeah. A lot of people putting their locations and that has clout or mm-hmm. some type of status. What do you think about that? What is? He made a I mistake. mean, he, he real well. He really did. Mm-hmm. He really did. Yeah. And he, he was wasn't. killed because of this. Oh, Siri. Siri. Wow. <laughs> she Fucking in. up our show. She tapped in she on her own. She, t- she you know tapped why? inwardly. He was trying. <laughs> get closer to the mic. Get closer to the mic. He was trying to just stunt and ball and show I'm living. I, he look, was. Amiri is sending packages to my house. Oh, who? Yo, oh, Amiri's, Amiri's was sending packages Amiri's. to the house. Oh, those pants are 2000 And you know that was Real Housewives of, of uh, what was that, Los Angeles? That was one of their homes. Oh, the wow. Real Housewives of Los Angeles. Yeah. So, he was just taking a picture of the Amiri tag, like, look. Mm-hmm. But if you zoom in, if you a vulture and you just want to zoom in, or even if you just a super fan, yeah. like, oh, my God, I love Pop Smoke so much, I want to go see him. Mm-hmm. His address is right at the bottom of the car. That's crazy. 2033. You, you seen it? When you looked on there, it was two zero two one. I seen it. You seen it? Wow. I know the address. I'm going to play it in And the it's lottery. crazy because, like... <laughs> Not a lot of people would think to like, you know, further. I'm off the exact street. Yeah. Oh, wow. It didn't just say 2033. It said 2033 something something drive. Wow. Um, Hollywood Hill. Wow. With the zip code. Yeah. Wow. I mean, all you gotta do is type that in your GPS, literally. Right. And then his friend even posted the same thing in his story, and he was they were together. Yeah. And his the the same address. They're like, oh wait. So the address is on his and on yours? Yeah. Oh, we finna go get him. It happened like three hours later. And it's almost like a That's symptom. Terrible. It's like, it's it's almost kind of like a symptom of the digital age. I mean, it's uh-huh. so easy yeah. to gain access to all of this information now. Like, you now. never was able to look in a nine. I mean, no. 2020, you, in 1999, you no. were able to look up Whitney Houston's. No. Well, Canada. I mean, like, you probably True. could. You wanna, Fuck you, no. I mean, you, you, you could. could. You could, you could but, but it would but take, it was harder. Right yes, it would take yeah. so much longer. I, I, wait, I'm right here. I'm 30 minutes away from yeah. this address. Yeah. Well, and that's, there's you a lot of people that, saying? there's, like, one of the, uh, like, if you listen to, like, really hardcore, like, computer security folks, one of the things they always say I is am, Rick. You know when you take a, a like, when you take a photo with your phone, mm-hmm. never post the photo like that. Always crop it a little bit because just that simple cropping gets rid of a lot of the EXIF Mm -hmm. information that's embedded in the phone or embedded in the picture. And one of the things that's embedded in the picture is, if you're you're not careful, is your exact GPS location. Wow. Mm. And so... What what, what was that you called it again? The GIF? EXIF. The EXIF. EXIF. Information, yeah. Okay. Um, And so, you know, like one of the things that, you know, so they say just even that little, like even cropping it, like just the smallest bit nukes that and Mm. gets rid of it. Um, And then you can post, because like one of the, like they've, there's been cases where stalkers have just combed people's Facebook pages, even like they're like celebrities, they're public fan pages. Yeah. And that information was That's embedded in some sad. of those photos. Exactly. You know, and oh, hey, you took That's a picture sitting possible. by your pool. Mm-hmm. Great. I got your GPS location. I'm I can find you. I'm finna pull up. Yeah. I know. I like this is an example. Um, I was oh looking God. for sternum tattoos. This was like three years ago. This mm-hmm. is forever ago. And I found one, pulled it off of Google Images, saved it to my phone. And it told me exactly where, where this person. Yeah. It took no. It told it's me wild. exactly where this person took this photo. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I was like, oh my god! Like, hey, you know I hope I she knows like, this. Yeah. Like, the other day, I went into a shoe store. Mm-hmm. I was looking at some shoes, 
I wanted to purchase the shoes. Mm -hmm. I ended up purchasing the shoes. When I got back home, that exact shoe was on my timeline for the next two days. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So it's all, is that like an algorithm? I mean, what is the that? exact what is same that? shoe, though. Well, no. So that's so. There's a lot of that. That so now I mean, it's just on my timeline. So there's a lot yeah. of there's a lot of different stuff that goes into that. Mm -hmm. So like like you know like you should never walk around with Bluetooth enabled mm -hmm. on your phone uh, because there's a lot of places. I mean, it's it's real easy for places to like grab information off your phone because yeah. I mean the problem with and it's not just phones. It's you know the internet in general. The biggest issue with the internet is that it was designed it to be. Open. Mm -hmm. I mean, it was designed by geeks at colleges that's that wild. wanted to share papers. Yeah, that's all it was ever designed. That that's, that was the initial design. What? So, like, when you hear these base protocols like TCP/IP or an IP address, that kind of stuff, there's no security built into those natively mm -hmm. because it was designed to be an open platform yeah. for people to swap well, and yeah. share stuff. Socially, yeah. Yeah. and so all this stuff yeah. like Not shopping and and you know buying stuff like that's those are all add-ons that have now, been hastily slapped on top of shit. Yep. This. And even cookies. Yeah. And yep. The concept advantage. of cookies, you mm -hmm. know, being able to have access to all of the data that you like, the data Possible. that you share, mm -hmm. you know, even the stuff that you search. Wow. And it's... So even if, like, if you're not familiar with it, like you can enable uh, what's called a no-follow okay. setting in your browser. Mm -hmm. um, because like if you're on a website and then you go to another website, that website that you're going to will get all of the information that you... That you were just doing yeah. on that earlier website, unless you have that no follow setting enabled, right? Um, and that way, you know, the, the information won't follow you from what from site to site and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So I mean, it's mm -hmm. there's there's a lot of stuff out there that people ju just don't think about. Like the one I love is really oh, you know, Alexa's and and the Google Home stuff. Like those aren't listening to you all the time. I'm like, yeah, they I'm are. I'm like, here's the thing: if they're not listening to you all the time, then how do they know when you say the wake word? Right. Like, how does Alexa, if Alexa's not recording you all the time, how does it know when you say Alexa? Or even computer. <laughs> yeah. Alexa, right. She got to wake up. That's what wakes I mean, she she's there the whole time listening to your every yep. move. Yeah. She's listening. Mm -hmm. She almost knows you. She knows Damn. you. Not only does she, like, if you say Alexa, my, my favorite song. Alexa. She's going to play your favorite song. Uh -huh. Yeah. She already has that program, the song that you play the most on your yep. phone. Already programmed into her Google Alexa, search. Right. Who was at my house while I wasn't here? With She's my gonna yeah. tell you. <laughs> you need to stop. Well, so that do that. Like, look up. Um, my girl, Alexa. Go to go Alexa, to Google Maps. That is something that I can show you. Yeah, go to <laughs> Alex. <laughs> or even Alexa. watch as I take over the TV, TV. and play back the surveillance <laughs> video. Of her getting. But no, like go to Google and she take a look at your location history. The mailman. Yes. The mailman. Yes. <laughs> and oh. even I mean, like it's. It's kind of a double-edged sword because on one hand, it's it's super helpful for, you know, even people with dementia people. who need mm -hmm. help remembering things. But on the other hand, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, my God. Somebody's going to come here and try to kill me. This, yeah, or this program well, no, like, knows like, so much about me. Stuff like that's me. been admissible in court. Uh, there was a case that we talked about on our show not too long ago where – uh, guy said it wasn't possible for him to have committed this murder because uh, he was across town, yada, yada, yada. Well, they proved that, okay, at, at one point in time, he was across town. 248, 809, um, Let me make sure I had that opened up. 248. Um, yeah, he was across town, but oh, by the way, he took, like, he left his car where he was, but then he took a lift and went, and they, and they tracked it, like, between lift and his phone. Yep, you went back to that location, and yep, you were right yeah. there when the murder when happened. The murder happened. Wow. Yep, yeah, like those towers are real; they work. Yeah, uh -huh. oh, the yeah. Pe the police—that's what they go off of. Ping, 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 ping. Yep, right. they saw your every move. We saw from you went from state to city to city to state to state. I mean, it's like you yeah, know, near a sing. If you are near only a single tower, like I, because like that's some of the data that I used to play with back in the day. With one tower, I could tell within ten feet. Where you were, you feel what yeah. I'm saying? If you were, if you were within range of three towers, I could put your position within a foot and a half. Mm -hmm. Like I know which house on that street you're in, not yeah. just you're I, on that not street. Not just you on I that know, street. I yeah. know. Yeah, I find my iPhone, my ass. I'm gonna find your yep. ass. Right. I'm gonna find your ass. Find like, like, like I was rock. just, I was and recently looking at mm -hmm. the things about, the like, like the same thing, like how China has, like, a, you have to see how China has like a point system to where socially. Like, you could get in trouble just for jaywalking or not paying your taxes on time. And 
This gets you points. You can't travel. You can't get on the train. You if can't get you on the litter, plane. If you litter, by the time you get home, there is a ticket waiting for you. That's a ticket waiting, yeah. waiting for you. It's it's over a million and it's it's they over, busted a guy at a concert over there, facial recognition at a concert with a hundred and twenty thousand people. The cops found a guy with a warrant in that crowd wow. and went and plucked him out wow. because they, of their facial recognition they have software. Facial recognition what? software that is so crazy, bro. I'm talking about millions they of cameras. They're in 2040. Yeah, they're 2040. Uh, maybe 3,000. Yeah, they may be 3,000, <laughs> but truthfully. They have millions of facial recognition cameras to watching the whole everything. everything. Yeah. I mean, literally, Jay Walker. Yeah, people joke about the brother here. It's a real thing there. It's a real thing there. Or even Mom, like the me. Black Mirror episode called Nosedive. I yep. think it was like. Season three, three? Yep. Yeah. yeah, where <laughs> no, I've no, always said there. Black Mirror is. It's so many people there. They're so trying to get rid of We are six months to two years yes. away from whatever those episodes are. Like every one of those episodes, yes. we're six daughters. months to two years away. Oh yeah, and if you have I think two girls. If you get pregnant with two girls, they it's possible. What they don't have, they have they have uh, different laws there. There's no population there's no, control. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. They have real population control. Yeah. You can't no, have like, two daughters. That's but like the math, came. but like I mean, the math and science isn't even just online. Like I, I worked with crazy. a guy. Not mm-hmm. anymore. That was the uh, the it's mathematician like no for Target. Okay. That got sued. Uh, so a guy got cranky because uh, there some male uh, like Target like Target sent uh, ads to his daughter, uh-huh. uh, who was I believe 15 at the time, um, with all of this baby stuff. Oh. Like, like you know, the hey, like you're expecting a child, yada yada yada. Well, come to find out, yeah, she was pregnant. Wow. And the reason, and here's how, and so like, and he literally had to testify that it was because of the data that they got from her on social yeah, media, what, uh, her Snapchat, her yeah. Facebook, and yep. what she was doing, and the Twitter. kinds of the kinds of behaviors they were seeing. Mm-hmm. They knew within a 95 to 98 percent accurate First. rate, she's gonna wind up pregnant here pretty quick. Wow. And so they started sending the mailers, and I mean, and that was that was our, like, and Target got sued over that, and had to like, look, were we wrong? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, they weren't wrong, but it's like, wow, like you you're tapping into my life pretty yeah. tough to yes. understand to understand yes. my movements, to understand yes. how I do things, to understand that I'm pregnant. Oh, yes. so I can to tell understand you that I threw up. Your you life. knew that I threw up from twice. my day yeah. job. I can tell you this because I've had to have I I had to get they I, know I made I fucking. made a lawyers yeah. give me. Like sign Damn. off that this was cool. I don't have no privacy. By the time, no, you don't. By the no. like, let's say you're looking for a car. Pandora, no, you and fucking. You go, and you go to any of the big three websites. You no, you fucking. Any of them. By the time that homepage Pandora. finishes YouTube, loading, no, you mm-hmm. I know within about a ninety percent accuracy when you pull up who you are, what come up, what kind of car you're gonna be looking for, wh- how much money you make, how yeah. much, what kind of a car you can afford, what you can afford with a little bit of a stretch, and that entire homepage before it finishes loading. Yeah is all changing based on that information because okay mm-hmm. here's the car you want here's the car we want you to buy yeah. here's you know and it's and it's all just it's yeah. it's yeah. crazy yeah. how that happens the information that you Life know you put out there even mm-hmm. just like the things that you like, like nobody Joe. thinks nobody thinks it's important and especially like you know the the most uh, uh, digitally aware <laughs> generation mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. just they feel like just because it's online oh yeah i'm safe it's cool you know right. there's a mask i totally no, need baby. to know. like joe so you did you joe? guys any of you guys yes. watch the big hack or the Shut great the hack fuck up. i'm serious you Shut know up, joe. Hugh. Yeah. The, the show yeah. you you yeah. joe he's, goldberg he's he's uh oh, he's girl. socially <laughs> literate so did, did you watch the greatest hack by any chance no, no. so it is a what it's is on it? netflix and it basically is something like I'm sure I'm sure you guys heard all the stuff about the Facebook the Facebook data yeah, leaks I, Cambridge I watched Analytica that. That's the documentary. Yada, 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 yep what is it about so it's about how it's essentially so Cambridge Analytica is the company that took all the data from Facebook so you know all those stupid things on Facebook like if you were a they bagel it, what kind of ba- no, no, they, they, no they had access yeah. Bill they gonna, Cosby but, anything like anything that they if you were to get a bagel access. what kind of bagel like all those stupid you know quizzes mean? and it was like well those are probably kind of dumb why would and well no they're it's because they're data mining you. And yeah. so they, like that documentary proved, like not only did they like they, not only did they fuck with the U.S. election in in twenty twenty, but they they broke elections in twelve other countries before they did it here mm. as a proof of concept to prove they could because they like so they knew 
like, okay, you already have your mind up made up on who you're going to vote for. There's no sense targeting you. Mm-hmm. You already have your mind up who you're going to vote for. There's no sense targeting you. You're kind of in the middle of the road and can be swayed based on your post. Based on your post. We are targeting the fuck, fuck out, out of y'all. you. Yeah. Not, yeah. And it wasn't st- we're targeting a state. We're targeting a region. Everybody, we're targeting a city. The world. No, we're targeting you. Yeah. With what we know, will like that whole um, do, the very phrase "crooked Hillary" yeah. was invented by Cambridge Analytica. Wow, that was their marketing and ad team that created those ads and created that oh, phrase, and yeah, they, and and started they like all, they and all, started uh, spitting that at people that they knew were swayable. Yeah, that's wow. a good one on Netflix. Right, I watched you know, that. One. Okay, it's real you know good. how you said sway you? Oh, yeah, you remember that movie? It was like um, they were gamblers. I can't think of the movie. They was like gamblers, and they made this Rounders. guy. Um, see the number fifty-five all day. Oh, oh, oh yeah, the, yeah. yes. Oh, that's yes. with uh, I know which Will one you're Smith. talking about. Uh, What's it called? Will it Smith wasn't twenty-one. No, it was no, it wasn't. Wow. They made what the guy see the number fifty-five all day. So yes, they took him to a football game. Yes, the guy mm-hmm. they got a guy they gamble with him. They got he's out there. He sees he runs something. He does something. The number fifty-five. Focus. They yeah. Two thousand fifteen. <laughs> so they, they walk past the room number. His room number. But, yes. Mm-hmm. It was a bunch of swipers. Well, subliminal messaging. Yep. Yes. Um, something is mm-hmm. fifty-five. That's how they yes. do you right now today, yes. man. And uh, you going somewhere? They play, somebody yell out a number, mm-hmm. and the guy who yes. won the, uh, the auction, the, the person who won the auction, it was number fifty-five. That's yes. how today you yep. would go to jail right now. Yeah. That's how they can persuade so, the world mm-hmm. to say you a pedophile. Or you a rapist, or you a killer, yeah. even when you're not. Sometimes, because yeah. they can sway the people. Your, that's what a lawyer can, just in general. Job because is. it's just like it's Their like if, if, all that. I have to do is just constantly he subliminal messages, constantly, constantly, mm-hmm. constantly, yeah. constantly, constantly. I got you. Yeah. There's no, it's no way around. Well, I mean, so that was the thing. Like they actually had to. I mean, they ban, they had to ban movie theaters from doing that. You know, back in the '70s, because that was you know, because so like like right now we're recording at 30 frames per second. You know, which is about like that's you what throw something that's in what there. the human eye can see. Yeah. Is about yeah. But if I th- like if you throw one frame in there, and that's what they were doing. They were throwing like one frame in of like a Coke, mm. uh, or yeah. popcorn, mm. or yeah. whatever, and it was and it would be that. Like I'll like, damn, I want popcorn. Yeah. Or or damn, I I want a coke and I don't know why. Yeah. And then that's why. They it's literally had to like ban them from doing it. When right. people do like um homes sometimes, like when you're doing like a, a house, small things can make Bad. a room look bigger. Yep. You know? Mirrors. Like it's a mirror or Drake. Certain colors, or dumb stuff. You hear every housing agent. Yeah, dude. Uh, bake cookies. Bake. Yes. Because it's that smell, smell and the trigger that and, makes the home it's home. and the whole. The da, da, da. whole factory it's senses a, yeah. are generated mm-hmm. yeah. to make it feel homey. Yeah. 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 That's it's it's just so different out here nowadays, man. That, that and now it's and now it's all your data. I mean, that's and that's yes. why they're like there's a lot of there it's are a lot of companies out there yeah, and a lot thing. of startups that are trying to make. Your data a protected right, mm-hmm. um, because I mean, like that's the thing. Like people, and I've said this in so many times, people just don't get it. If you're not paying for a service, you are the service. Yeah. So I mean, that's you know, like you can't get mm. mad at Facebook for doing shit with your data. You're giving them all your data yep. for free, and you're mm-hmm. uh, yeah, you yeah, you're you're. Yeah, you don't you even are, know you're a star. Yeah. They're like, using all of your stuff to become, you not I want to be Courtney back. Service. Right, yeah. Sit, you literally, you service. may not yeah. think you're to all doing you anything, but. all you people selling sex. There's somebody yeah. out here becoming you. Yeah. <laughs> if you're not paying for the sex. Oh, you're always paying for it. You're the service. One way or another, you're always paying for it. <laughs> Collateral. It's always there, somehow. If you're not paying for the service, you are the service. Mm-hmm. I like that one. And I'm keeping you're not paying for the sex, you are the service. Putting it in it's, the bag. It's true. I mean, it's that, that's just reality. You're not paying for the service. You, you know, that's why I laugh. Everybody's like, oh, my God, okay. Facebook changed the layout, and I'm so angry. Like, dude, I'm sorry the service you in no way pay for mildly inconvenience you right. for a few minutes while right. you figured out a new layout. Right. Like, what, what are you going to do? Like that, uh, we don't like, pay for fa- if we had to pay for Facebook, Instagram, or Snapchat. Would you guys would still you guys still have do it? it? I don't think nobody would have it. So you look at so at South, this point, I pro- would you they still, probably would. Would you still have it? I if would pay Facebook for it. Now. Charged you. So this was the big. Thing I about, would pay for it now. This was the big thing about net neutrality. Forty dollars a month. I pay for it now. That's a lot. At this point, fifty I would pay for it. It's a big part of your life, though. So it's social not, media is a great. I'm not paying. Part, that. I barely pay. It's just like cable. No. You pay for it. You pay for cable. You pay for I it. I don't. 
I'm saying someone, you know, pays Somebody for cable. Somebody does. Someone in the world. I'm just saying in the world. Somebody pays for cable. Yeah. And they pay much more than $40. Yeah. yeah. $200. I was just talking to one of my coworkers. So would you pay $40 to $50 a month for Facebook? No. Or Instagram? No. So Instagram has changed some people's lives. Right. They are rich and from Instagram now. Well, but so that's, that's like. I'm saying maybe not you. I'm just saying just. Yeah, the, not me at all. So that's where, ne- that's where the whole net neutrality thing was a big issue because, like, so the big, the big fear. Of people that were like were, that are like I'm horrible like like net neutrality is a very good thing and yeah. so when it got when it got destroyed, like we are and and you see it already we are inching towards where, okay so I'm Comcast and I'm your internet provider, right. if Hulu well yeah because they don't own Hulu anymore if Hulu or Netflix wants to get their traffic across my pipes it's going to cost them more right which and who's going to pay for that it's going to be you. Mm-hmm. You know, so and then and they're like, oh well, that would never happen. Well, they've already shown that AT and T is throttling Netflix, is throttling Hulu, is mm-hmm. throttling you know because they want people. Yeah. Oh, I get mm-hmm. it. Oh, it just it, it like it runs better if I'm watching my AT and T stuff. Well, duh, of course, because they give that priority. That's what you're not supposed to right. do. So, but like, so South America has a tiered internet system where okay, you've got like if you want. Uh, you know, access to like news websites and that kind of stuff. It's X a month. You uh-huh. want access or X a day. I'm gonna give you. You a want stuff. You want social media. It's, it's X plus ten a day. Right, look, yeah. You want in, this. It's X plus twenty. Yep. I lived in Arizona in these apartments. Um, when I lived, it was I was living in Phoenix, Arizona, in these certain kind of apartments. They yep. were kind of like nice or whatever. I don't mm-hmm. know. Had a pool, stuff like that. Um, you can only get one kind of cable. Yeah, and it's it like that still apartment. here too, though. It was with the it, certain it was areas. The, you can only wasn't get certain even, It wasn't even certain areas because, like, my homegirl, her her grandmother stayed like. Three, they had four the same cable. Up. They had way different. They have hella options. Oh, okay. She lived in a house. Well, but she that, didn't live that's, in an apartment that's typical. But this yeah. apartment building. No, that's typical. It was in something Falcon or something. I never yeah. heard. Of, yeah. It, yeah. It, it no, that's worked. typical. But I was looking up on the internet. I was like, I never. You know, I can't. You can't even really find it. Yeah. That was like 2007, but I just remember that. Well, so and that's, and that's, that's one of the arguments that, you know, like the AT&Ts and, and the Comcast of so the you world gotta, say. So you can get a contract. If I, if I own an apartment building, I can get a contract with For exclusive service. access. Yeah, yep. and exclusive then we, access. This yeah. only these people. Yep. Yeah. Y'all all, we, uh, we Yeah, they lock it down. Like and they that. get a kickback. Yeah, yeah, they get a kickback. Obviously. Yeah, because you're going to be the exclusive provider. What do we get out of this? Right. But it's like that's like, so that's the thing. You know, you've got, you know, like, so like Comcast. And I, and, and you, the argument makes sense. Like, dude, like Comcast, especially in this area, spent a lot of money to lay a lot of cable down. Mm. And it's, you know, and like, like AT&T spent a lot of money putting phone wires out there. It's not like, or like Verizon and the cell towers. It's not it's like Trinity. Sprint went out and built their own cell towers. They lease space off those same cell towers yeah. that Verizon put that's out there. That's why their cell service sucks. And, well, but so that's the thing. So, the so, bottom feeder. so now they're saying, okay, well, guppy. just to let you know, if you got yeah. Sprint, and I'm not throwing any full of sharks. And nematodes. You got Sprinted. Specifically, but you know who I'm talking to. You need to let Sprint go. Wow. You're really loud. Um, are you? But so, but that's a thing. So now you've you got you know well you know you, you shouldn't charge us you? to use those lines. Well, but we that. paid all the money <laughs> to put the lines in. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean we shouldn't be able to charge <laughs> whatever the hell we want for it? <laughs> like I, so like you can understand the argument, but yeah, it's you know it's kind of a double edged sword. These two guys going at it. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know. I feel Banks attacked. Has sprint. I do. She just got still attacked. Oh how my would God. I even know? I pay one hundred and nine dollars a month. And you can't even get on the internet and be on the phone at, at the, the same, same time. No. She can't even send a picture no. while she's talking. No, no, I can't. I yeah, hate no. Sprint. No, at all. Not I ha- at all. I literally fucking hate Sprint, and I. Adrian's coming in here. I she wish just Sprint upon my right Adrian now. I'm about you. Oh wow! How was your nap, sis? How was your nap? She's drunk and high. She's drunk. <laughs> she had a couple of those cerveza. Yeah. Like, yeah. She, 40 oh, green no, tea shots. Right. What is that, cranberry <laughs> vodka? No, this here is called a uh, winter jewel. Oh, it's one of the uh, one of the cocktails. It has tequila in it. I got it. It's yeah, one of the badge I, cocktails. I got him one. He had an au pair. It was pretty good, too. He said no, it was good. I, I had a jerk uh, juice, some type of jerk punch. I forgot it. I got a go jungle juice. No, it's gonna say jerk punch. Oh. Jerk punch. That's yeah. what you just had. No, I just got Did you, you the old pair. Oh, no, coop. You know I got oh, you got a juice too. Oh yeah, yeah. From I coop, yeah. It. Yeah. Yeah. Coop. It's the that's the Caribbean they, restaurant. Yeah, they got down there. Yeah. They got good never, food. never. Been I don't there. eat at never the burger. Burger. You had the, the cauliflower. 
That's oh, my that's what they're good. Today, the they are fries, good. I love them. Been and to oh, it this morning. Never noticed. I love the gravy the corn and the cauliflower. Right. That place down there got a tomahawk. Awesome. We want to get. Oh, it's the Thai joint. Dude, we haven't, we haven't ate I gotta get that tomahawk. I she's the Asian that. grandmother I never knew I needed, oh, and that's real, dude. Like she, like every time she's trying out new food, she like just brings stuff up, and she's like, get, she's like, see if this is good. I'm like, I oh, swear that's just like okay. the lady on uh, I want to meet on Wyoming at the uh, Asian corned beef. Oh, yeah. You go there and I've get them corned beef egg rolls. And she'd be like, oh, how you I doing? There, yeah. You all right? You want, yeah. you, you want a roll? Yeah. She'd be like, what's up, yes. boo? What's up, boo? I do know her. Yeah. <laughs> they what's up, boo? She'd be like, what's up, boo? Man, that is the hilarious. The lobster ones. I haven't had the lobster. Lobster and cheese. No, them new. I haven't had I had the shrimp ones. I haven't had the... I'm going to have to try them. I feel so behind. She'd be like, what's up, boo? Oh, yeah, Genevieve's free. She's awesome. What's up, boo? Man, I love to hear her say that. What's up, boo? You be <laughs> you feel good when you come in. Like, okay, AD, know me. what's happening? She knows me. Okay. Like, you know okay. Know we living through you. We came in here with the white on. Looking like Lisa Ray. Alhamdulillah. Try me. Come in there. But E-G-E. Alolosi. Go ahead. Say what's on your mind. Yes. Praise the Lord. For those who don't know, it's college spelled backwards, guys. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank I didn't you. Go to college, so I didn't laugh. Oh, he didn't get that one. It's an upper echelon joke, I guess. Never been to EGLOC. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Never been to EGLOC. Yeah, we was waiting for you. Yeah, we was waiting for you at the dough. I've been blowing their minds with internet security stuff. We really have. I feel like we're talking about pop smoke. Pop smoke. I know. Yeah, you know, I need. Sorry, I need to say rest in peace, DJ Slick B, because we wasn't here for another one. It's similar. It's similar to the same thing. It happened in between. We and it's what we it. talked about on the rap stuff when we had the yeah. discussion on rap. Yep. So it made me think about you know, it's like, again. it's yeah. crazy, man. Like it's crazy how this shit goes yeah. down. And it's interesting because we were literally just talking about this, like, what, four shows ago? It's Three shows 20. ago? Yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. About how so often these old, young man. rappers are go like, straight. yeah, they're dying. They go straight down. Yeah. It's sad. And it's like this. It's like I tell you, like, it's, it's that's why you... A lot of people need to get out of this one mind state. The mind state is you self made. Mm. Okay. Nobody is self made. Let's get this let's get this together. Nobody. Okay, you had a customer, you had a friend, you had an auntie, you had a cousin. I don't know who they were. I don't know who the, your Somebody people are. But this but this mentality of self made is got to get you know, because if you don't bring anybody on board, this is the type of things that happen to you, like Pop Smoke. You didn't have a, probably a whole big squad. His squad is with know. him. Just imagine this. Your squad that's with you it are getting, dr- are getting there, drunk though. as you. They're getting high as you, bro. Yeah. That's not really nobody that's securing you. Yeah, that's no, not really no. nobody that's got they your best yes interest. Man. That's not really nobody that's saying cuz. But that's man, part of you the go culture. Back at, you go that's... in the room, bro. That's I a got, cultural I'm stay out thing here with that them. doesn't have right. You and your girl you know, and all the ladies. Yeah. It's self-made. It's, 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 it's a part of the culture, but it's starting to become a, a part, a big point, problem. That, a big problem. Mm-hmm. Because when you, when, you, when you feel you're self-made, you feel self-confident. So when you're self-confident, you start thinking for self. You start to think, well, I'm the shit. Fuck, fuck you. Fuck you. I don't know. Fuck y'all. I don't need y'all. I don't need y'all on this show. I'm the man. No. That's I mean, how people get when they, they don't work like when they that. Okay, become, but you that's can't. That's why team. That's but why somebody's team. self-confident shouldn't be, you know, impeded by somebody who's jealous. No, it, no I'm not saying it like that. I'm saying. As, no, but so look, I think look, where look, he's going, is that, that leads to ego, ego yeah. right. which leads, leads to, to being a dick, leads, which leads to being an asshole. Yeah. But was that the case? Was that right. no, we, don't know the we don't know the case. Exactly. But I'm so why are we coming up but, with assumptions that we don't even know? We, we you know, don't know the context. In general, just saying in general, that's usually what what happens. That happens so many times. So many times. So many that's what times. happens. This is America. We do sweeping man. generalizations. Yeah. It's, it's what we do. Yeah. <laughs> the person that, okay, example. It's to say for the Logic. Person, I, like 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 that? take for slick B for instance. Different scenario. Pop smoke is different. Sleek B is different. Yeah. Different scenario. Those guys got tapped in on his internet. These guys tapped in on a show just not liking you for mm. you being Courtney Banks. Period. That sucks. Now that's now that just imagine true, that. Some imagine you walking like in a room, him. nobody knows you, All but right. you Courtney Banks, or you whoever you are, and we you some you somebody. Social media people know you before people they know you before they yeah, actually exactly. see. They hate you before they even actually or know I you. Or I like you before I meet you. Like I'm in so in love with you. 
I gotta meet you. I gotta meet you. Yeah. But it's some people out there. But that I don't never think seen like you that. in my life. Mm-hmm. Only seen you. It's some picture. people that heard you that's four true. people say, that's I, "This man, this is my motherfucking guy, Hugh Chambers, man, that's my fucking guy." And it's two people behind him, man. Fuck you, Chambers. Yeah. I yeah. can't mother, man. If they say motherfucking Hugh <laughs> Chambers one more motherfucking time, <laughs> you got a thing I, I swear to fucking God, I'm gonna swing on I'm that. I'm gonna kill him. I'm a, you feel what I'm saying? I, I want to kill him now. Bootsy call it Boot, the rapper Bootsy Badass. He's called it hypnotized with hatred. Yeah, he, yep. that's a super, that's a real thing. He says he was like some you rappers. Most rappers get killed in the city that they're from, mm-hmm. and that's true. All the rappers I've been hearing about for the last get killed in the city where 15, they're from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This where your biggest hate come from. Because okay, like I went to school with you, mm-hmm. right? We live on the same street. But now I'm worth 40 million and you work at McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Fuck you, Chang. I hate you. You hate me now. I hate you. You used to <laughs> love me. We used to be friends, but I moved on. Adrian, life, and now dare I'm to be different. I right. wish the, the fuck I would call her. Dare to be but different. You had a child. There's some people out there. You, you go to the club, you hear my song. I, I, I wish I would call Boom. her. Dare to be different. You fuck go her. in the car, you hear my song. <laughs> you like, I'm tired of hearing this damn song. I'm tired of hearing this song. Like, damn, I don't even when know your kids this. come home from school, guess what they right. want to see? <laughs> now I got chips. They eating my chips. I'm eating rap snacks. They got okay. <laughs> yeah. When you come, in the tra- you throw the trash out. My face is in the trash. Are, yeah. are rap snacks anything like Scooby snacks? I don't have a clue. You know, <laughs> no. But now they're, they're not. And then no. when you go not to Raymond noodles, Bootsy has Raymond noodles now. They so have what? They have ramen that. noodles. Ramen? Ramen. 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 Okay. Where he from? He got the noodles. He got different no, they're noodles, Rain Man Rain Man. Rain Man. Rain Man. <laughs> so now you're hypnotized with hatred. Now when I see you out, I hate you so much. That's why rappers yeah, changed get, get smashed it. and they hated uh, it because they're they got into it with the whole club. They didn't get the yeah, change. We came like, from the same street. How and come he got it and I didn't? We was up. doing the same shit. You, mm. you just messed your chance up, or maybe, or maybe, maybe it's just wasn't not meant, meant for, you. for you, right? Every maybe it was meant for you to work at McDonald's. God wants you to be doing this. Yeah, God wants you. McDonald's has to have work. And then that we all have our hidden talents. We won't be a golden arches. If you want to continue to let distractions. Caddyshack. The world needs ditch diggers, Danny. Things to get in your way, right? <laughs> then that's what's gonna happen. We always walk around with all these distractions, right? Yeah. You know, we all, like I said, have our hidden talents. We all have something we're good at, and usually people acknowledge that about you, mm-hmm. and you, people either use it for good or bad, mm-hmm. and you make a choice, and people make a choice to do it for bad, and that's the choice they make, and then they let, oh, I want to, they let the the rap Call songs, the Jay Z, and all these other. Distractions, women, clothes, mm-hmm. you know, material, material things, material things success, everything same. else is getting in your way of just what you should be doing yeah, for man. yourself. Yeah. And yeah. then you probably can obtain the same things. But people always so busy trying to worry about this instead of worrying about them. But their I, reality. But I think a lot of that has to do with like the 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 age that we're in where <coughs> everything has to be instant. And so, like, whether it's success yeah. or something materialistic, success, you know, yeah, like exactly. That's everybody wants to be successful. Exactly, right. but nobody, nobody wants, wants to put, wants in, to the put work. in the work. Not at all. And so when you see all of that, you know, you get caught up in it, and you don't focus on what you're supposed to do. Mm, yeah. But then... Well, because all you see is this. Yes. And then you at this... You see what, what now is. Exactly. You don't see, see the 10, 15, 20 right. years it took me to get prior. of struggle, dedication, and busting your ass and, and killing you yourself left. to get it's right. all gone in a year. On. Right. But it's then, all gone in a year. Exactly. And then at the same time, you're like, oh, but this person has all of that. Da, 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 da. We grew up on the same block. I don't like this. That's and so they, now the they're jealous. That's the mentality nowadays. Yeah. And that's what... Now what, I don't like them. That's what... A pro- them. Like, Kill just them. to say, like... <laughs> right. Like, you got... Like, I don't know. We all probably not from I'm the same podcast, like, walks DC. of life. That's just like saying, like, if somebody like you mm-hmm. was to, to make it or I was to make it from where we from. We got a lot to deal with. Mm-hmm. We We couldn't just... That mean we got... That mean he has to move his sister. That means I have to take my sister away from where she's at or my mom. She can't stay in the same places now. I'm, I'm on a different plateau. Now there's some people out here on the information age. I remember his mama stayed on the, uh, I mean, if we go get her, what you think he'll pay, pay for her? You know what I'm saying? Uh. I see he worth 15 million. I know he'll give us a million dollars for his mama yeah. or two million dollars right. for his moms. You know, that's but it's people out here man. with uh. that mentality that, that that's thinking, that, and they know that they possibly literally not going to get away with this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's almost like they'll they're gonna risk their oh, they, they, they'll risk their life to kill you. But that, that just because they're so hypnotized by the hatred, hatred. Yeah. that 
It doesn't even matter. Female, mm-hmm. I think, and you know what? I ain't gonna even lie. I would be a liar if I didn't feel. I feel like females got it even worse. If I think worse. Yeah, they do. To, to a lot, they defenseless to a man walking up with, on you with an AK. Think about or it. Or just yeah. a man walking up on you, period. Dollars. Or just saying no to a man. Yeah. Because a six, a we know six, that that's six, been happening eight, too. Two seventy <laughs> gorilla, three hundred gorilla. They defenseless. He don't have to have a weapon. Well, dude, the yeah. girl that just got killed uh, uh, out in Los Angeles, yeah. uh, the uh, sex therapist that used to be engaged to, uh, what's his name, Car- Drew Carey. Uh, Drew Carey. Yeah. Um, threw her, threw she her had off the balcony. She had a restraining order against him threw for her three off years the balcony. that had just recently expired. That's crazy. He kicked the door in to and, her house, and threw, threw her off, off a third story balcony. balcony. Yeah, what? that's some threw money. Threw off the balcony. Shit. Yeah, I saw Say that, that again. I, I never heard that story. So Drew she Carey. had a restraining order. It was <laughs> Who a guy. Is that it? She, uh, Drew it, Carey. So it's Drew Carey's ex fiance. Do on so the price he is threw right. Her off? No, no, not, no. Drew Carey did not. It's just oh. that's the. So it that's was her. Oh. But that's how everybody knows her was that she was his fiance for a while. A guy that she used to date, she had a restraining order against for the better part of three years. Right. It expired, and before she could get it, like she was going to go like the next day and get it renewed, he showed up at her apartment complex, and kicked the door off. in. He waited three years. Yeah, yeah. kicked yeah. the door in. Beat the shit out of her and in her apartment, and then threw her off the third. And then threw the third. Yeah, threw her off the third, third floor balcony. balcony. Killed yeah, her. I saw that. Killed her. The real mm. life Joe. You can't even imagine. Wow. What, like you say, you, <laughs> like we we got a lot life. to deal with, but we got to deal with the, 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 the some killers, but they have to That's deal with stalkers crazy. and killers. Very That's good. a lot. That's a double entendre. I mean, we do too. No, I'm talking yeah. about y'all. No, That's what yeah. I'm saying. That's what I said. The women. Ain't nobody trying to look for me to rape me. Well, I mean, you never know. Yeah. No, I say the women. No, nah, they they raping yeah, you nowadays too. They raping that's, that's men crazy. too. Oh, yeah. right. Get it twisted. So it is. Yeah. It's a struggle. Yeah, it's a it struggle. Is. Mm-hmm. But you know, we do. Thank you for time. acknowledging. I'm here for you today. It's In like those it, instances. <laughs> Shut the fuck I'm gonna be scared. <laughs> yeah, I can believe it though. They be I mean, just scared. They don't know what to like, do. Just like just telling somebody you know. no is like exactly. it's, that's crazy. Exactly that you just can't say. No. Excuse me, bro. No, now wanna, I'm a bitch. Now I'm a hoe. Like, now you, you want to kill me because I said say, no. I don't want to talk. A, a young lady from my job. I can't remember her name. So I, and I, her family might be around, so I don't want to get them all mad. But she was from my job. Mm-hmm. A guy was trying to talk to her in, in Detroit. And she said no to the guy. The guy followed her to the car. She said no some more. The guy shot her in the head yep. and killed her. Dude, I've had it happen in bars where a girl that I don't know crazy. will walk up to like, me and, like, like that, throw her arms around me and hug me. Yeah. yeah. And, like, in my ear, she'd be like, hey, there's a guy that's really being a dick. You Please seem like a friendly, me. open guy. Pretend you know me. Hug me back. Right. And cool. You know what? That's sit down. Sad. You sit crazy. down. I'm buying you a drink. We're hanging out. We're, right. You're my new. Yeah. You are the best friend that I've had for 20 fucking years. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Like that. And But, like, that shit happens. I that's fucking crazy, post. though. I remember making a post, and a po- my post, it didn't go viral. It went hood viral. Okay. Um, and I was like, I don't, the summer is here, and I told females, like, man, if a guy asks you for your number and he kind of persistent, just give it to him. Even if you got, even if he got to call you right there and he calls, just walk, when you get in the car, just block him mm-hmm. if you don't like him. But still give him your number. Still Let him, let get him call it go you. through. Tell him to call yeah, me. Yeah, call, call me. me. This is my phone number right here. It's my phone right And that's sad you got to even do that. You yeah, gotta, exactly. But I was just getting ready to say that. Self-preservation is key. And it's like, so, but, here's, but, here's but, but see, to see what the double entendre is, get a free Google Voice number. Exactly. It sits on your phone, and it's a second number. It rings through on your phone, and that's just a number you never answer. But at exactly. the end of the day, like, the biggest Sad, issue is that. now, you, okay. You don't want to get killed. Right. I mean, yes, but the issue is, why is it that women have to protect themselves, and why is it not that, like, Guys Men. have to not be dicks. Yeah, some why people are mental issues though. Some okay, people are I don't care. That's not. That's not something that's that's frequent. I mean, like it's the it's the culture. It's the culture that men are are grown up in to think that this is okay. It, it absolutely is, and and I guess like I and I guess the only the only counsel that I would give is I like, I get it. Like in a in a perfect world. Nope, that should not be the case. But no. like my day job, this I am perfect. a contingency planner. I talk possibility, I talk probability. Is it possible that someday you will never have to worry about shit like this? Sure, anything's possible. Is it probable? More than likely. Nope. So you're better off contingency planning yeah. to plan for the eventuality of, okay, insurance. in this situation, this is what I do. 
it, it, it's it's a second phone number. It's you know you always have you know because like it's dumb shit. Like I I, I think I might even there's a, a there's a necklace program. Um, that's it's a Bluetooth enabled necklace that you sync to your phone and like and if you're on a date that goes badly, you just kind of like touch like you touch your necklace and you can do make it do one of two things. Either it calls you with like a pre like it like it shows, shows like mom is calling and like and then oh shit. Gotta my mom's in an emergency, or it just calls nine one one silently in stealth mode. Mm. That's what you need. And it's mm. that's you know, crazy. You don't even have it's, that fucking it's shit. That's what it's I need it's that functionally too, retarded that that has to be a thing. Yeah. Yeah. Like but that has to be a thing. Because I have a sister, yeah. a mother, I got auntie, just in case. I yeah. got pretty cousins. Right. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't like the fact that they didn't have to even deal with no shit. Like and motherfucker, females. it's a plenty of women out here that will take your ugly dumb ass, you freaky son of a bitch. Excuse my French, but I think they need to hear this. But there's plenty of them out there. Like, we right here. I'm sorry, freak, freaky we son of a here. bitch is where you need to draw the line yeah, and excuse like, yourself. I mean, you like, like, I just, like, I just want to know where that line yeah, was. It's, like, <laughs> it's just like, it's just because it's just so somebody sad. Somebody like you, man. It's sad. It's somebody out here like or you, man. You, yeah. don't gotta take you go that. right here on Six Mile. They walking up and down the street. What would they got them walking up and down the street all day, man? Or they'll smile <laughs> in your face. They'll seem like super you. functional. And Did you hear about the story out of goddamn Canada? What they're doing in Canada? So Canada, um, apparently uh, a guy uh, raped, murdered, and killed multiple women. Mm-hmm. Um, he served 20-odd uh, years, uh, and they st- they put him in, a, like, they were like, oh, well, you know, he's rehabilitated, yada, yada. And everybody was like, no, no, he's not. This guy is batshit crazy. His first, they put him in a halfway house program. <laughs> His first day out of the prison, he went and found a prostitute and killed her. Like that, like, like just... Yeah. Wow. It's, it's, right out the gate. It's, you can't change First some day. of these fools. These day fucking what? Like wasn't he? He was out for hours. Should, Not even like hours. He was out. If you mm, rape, that's some Ted Bundy shit. If you rape, if you rape, Damn. you should get it cut off. That ain't cool. I mean, I'm, I, I'm all about the chemical castrate. castration. Do it. Chemical cra- castrate them. If that's you rape, you castrate. Them. You're done. <laughs> You never do it again. Sounds like a slogan. Some weird. Yeah. Okay. Okay. If you rape, you rape I think straight. I support it. <laughs> I would. No, I was. I, dude, George Literally. Carlin. George Carlin had the best idea. He was. His thing was, you take those four states that are in the middle of the country that are all kind of square, uh, and you build a big fence around all of them. <laughs> and you put like the rapists in one, and the murderers in other, and the pedophiles in the other, and I forget what the fourth one, but like four different kinds of. Mm-hmm. And and then you have cameras, up. It's like fifty foot high fences, and you have cameras. And you just film and broadcast all the shit they do to each other as pay per view, and, like, and you use that you to know make, what's and happen. then once a year for like ten minutes, you open the gates between the states and let them go. And let them there. And then let, it, let them fucking have it. <laughs> fucking they just hurt. let each other. <laughs> right. Pretty yeah. much. Why not? But it's for, the, it's for the it's for it's for the ignorance. Well, but I mean, the, the only problem with that is that we have a very imperfect. Judicial system and, and they so. fuck around and, <laughs> and they fuck around and come together. Off subject: When I was like, I was in prison for two years. Okay. For a pistol, I got caught with a felony. I was a felony firearm. That was my charge. Um, and I had to do two years for that gun. And in there, I learned a lot of things. I didn't know that they take rape as light. They take light on rape in prison. You got two years for a gun. The rapist got what? Uh, uh, I was Eleven in, months. I was in prison Shit. with a guy. He Probation. Got, Probation. He, mm, he had sex. My case is, I would think, is nonviolent. I just was yeah. walking with a gun. I didn't shoot nobody with a yeah. gun. I didn't rob nobody with that a gun. That was violent. That's violent, though. I That's just considered had it. violent. You just had it. No, it's not, it's not considered it's not violent. Considered violent. Violent. Uh-uh. Okay. My paperwork is not violent. Okay. Um, I'm a, a nonviolent offender. Okay. I had a gun. I did two years. I had to do 730 days. I did this whole two years straight. Okay. I didn't get out. The guy nice. that was l- in the same cell as me, he was laying across from me in that bed. He, w- he raped a 12-month-old. What in the fuck? I'm serious. He raped a 12-month-old. Uh-huh. This child is 12 months old. Knows nothing. I mean, literally, not even. This is a year. Not even cognizant, really, of what's he going on. He got 14 months to, like, six years. Yeah, but did he make it out? Yeah, he made it out. I mean, they beat but, him up a lot. Oh, um, yeah, they're like they don't. But what I'm saying, no, yeah, they beat him up a lot in there. Kids, but uh, sometimes, like, lie. we don't even know what you. You could lie, unless unless like your number is on your clothes, so yeah. I could like call home and say, "Hey, hey look, look this, this up." This no, guy yeah. up. But sometimes guys don't do that. You can literally not bother anybody, and just go coast through and go coast through and do your yeah. Time. Nobody know right. you didn't rape but, the twelve month And I was thinking to myself, That's how did disgusting. you get less time than me? And then while I was in there, the second year I was in there. 
or towards going home, they let 7,500 rapists out. Wow. Because of population Tampa. control. Yep. I, I remember those. But I was in there on non-violent case. Yeah. And I still had to do my time. Yeah. Dude, how many people are in there because of weed? A lot. How many people? Like, how? And and now you got I weed shops of, looking did, like the Apple store. I did a lot of time. <laughs> Absolutely. And that's because, I did a lot you of know, time for marijuana. It's because. I it's, never did prison. It's statistically set up that way because what race of people are committing most rapes? I, and, and, and I'm not gonna lie. Um, in jail, I'm gonna go with white college white frat people. boys. It was so, white people. And so it's like <laughs> the, be real with you. the <laughs> system is always co-protect in prison a white person well, over out. a black let's person. Well, no, so it's like like in the, prison, the, the, it's the it's penalty difference is between cocaine and crack. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Because, prison, because it's the exact same in drug. Prison, it is very race racial. Oh, absolutely. So like in lunch line, lunch line, it's a black line and it's a white line. It's two ways to go in here. There's no females and there's no males. So why is it two lines? You don't want to be. You get what I'm, yeah. It's white. It's a white line. It's a black line. Okay, and keep it that way going too. In there. So, like, uh, uh, like, and you know who? It's. I mean, this guy right here. This table right here is got six white guys, and they're all seventy five plus, and they only been in jail for a month. Exactly. And you're saying you telling me you worked forty years at Ford. You was a doctor. You was a lawyer. Why the hell are you in here, man? You worth a million dollars. Okay. So listen, I looked up the statistics of that. And so according to the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network. Rain. Uh, yes, Rain. Um, the statistics show uh, the race of perpetrators, they are 57% white and 50% are 30 years and older. Mm. These are the... That's more than half. Yeah. That's way more than half. Yeah. Mm. So yeah, you weren't wrong. I know. I mean, I just knew by, just by being in jail. <laughs> I just knew by being in jail. I mean, jail. I just know because I know my facts. Uh, a majority of released prisoners are rearrested for a new crime within three years. Sixty percent within five years. The That's same. Terrible. Well, and a lot of that has to do with the situation they walk out back into the world to. Yeah. Because they can't reassimilate. Yeah. All right. like, 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 like we need to stop that myth that it's all about. Um, oh, what's the word they always use? Uh, it, it, there, there's no correction in a correctional facility. There's no there's no rehabil- yeah, there's there's no I am rehabilitated. Not, I am there is none of that. Yeah, no, learn re- how to do no. worse. Listen, or how yeah, to this survive. is one of the things that I noticed in there as well. So in prison, in order to do your minimum, because you have, like, say, for instance, if you got a one year to 14 years, uh-huh. in order to do your minimum, you have to take this class where you are supposed to be re- rehabilitated in the class, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? But if you're in, if you don't take that class, they make you do your maximum. Until you take the class, they just keep flopping you. You have to see the parole board, so you'll end up doing a long bit. But I noticed rape maximum is not big, so you can literally just do five years. I can do five years. I'm not taking that class. I don't want you to rehabilitate me. In prison, you it's a class. It's a class for you to go take this class so you can get out in the year. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And if you do the one year and you take the class, you just get out in the one year when the parole board sees you. But if you don't take that class, you have to do five. But what's five? No big deal. But right. the dope case for him is if I get caught with this amount of dope, I mean, it's just this big. I didn't shoot anybody. 12 I years. 20. 20, yeah. Wow. And if I get caught with it twice, it's 40. Yeah. But see, look, <laughs> you're black. But, uh, but again, <laughs> it and not even that. It that's, just that's what it okay. Is. You said you're that, black. <laughs> but listen, <laughs> that exactly. that's a factor. But in addition to that, it's also what is the culture? I mean, like the United States supports rape culture. Yeah, they do that too. Yeah. Because so it's that's why it's five why years that? compared to forty who's years. Who's running the country? White men, oh, okay. white cisgender right men. Back into my no offense. Thirty and no up. Offense, I'm thirty and up. He knows. I'm he not gets arguing it. with you. No, he he's not offended. <laughs> exactly. He knows. It's, it's, no offense to facts. it's no offense to facts. No. There's no offense when it's you don't apply to that. You just, you just, no. you like just, you're not doing you that just dabbled shit. up no. the facts. No, no. Well, there's you no know offense that. to facts. And it's like, we, that's what, when we know that, right? Yeah. And it's unfortunate that Hugh didn't know that before he went to prison. Yeah. Because I, I could have told you. Get a card. <laughs> next time. But, well, right? no. no. <laughs> Wait, next no time. next time. <laughs> right. Court but this week. No. that's what, you know, and speaking on our black history supposed to be topic, <laughs> you know, that's what we need to be talking to our youth about is these type of cr- these things yeah. because they don't understand the scale. Yeah, you know what I'm yes. saying? Yes. Like, 
Like he's, he's saying, like what he's saying now, huge saying, like, you know, oh my God, this is this and this. Yeah. This has been going on forever. Yeah. Yes. So the yeah, thing it's is, not new. it's no. not new, right? This it's is not. a long, like I said, this is a statistical thing. It's it's meant to happen that way for a reason. It's yeah. a system. It's a system. Yeah. So why continue to put yourself in that yeah, position mm -hmm. as a, and when you have knowledge of it, that, information yeah. why put yourself in that position right. to keep getting in, in that trap system. so when so, that loops back to that earlier that earlier happens in a perfect world that wouldn't be the case right yeah but, you right. Just, but it ain't it just yeah. so you like better plan for it yeah. Yeah. for common sense yeah. you know you purposes have. yeah right. for our What's young black on? males out here <laughs> it's like come on now i understand you're trying to make if you okay. to me i feel like if you a hustler you can you should be able to hustle and sell anything. If you you should be able to give people, look, you need to use this black soap because it's better than I'm gonna tell you ten reasons mm -hmm. why it's better than Dove. Mm -hmm. Whatever the qu point right. is, be still just as dedicated to whatever yeah. product you're selling. If it, it, no matter what it is, why we have to stop getting out of that habit of saying, you know what, f, you know, just thinking about self right. as you spoke right. on earlier because right. it's not at the end of the day. Right. Yes, you can. You got to take care of yourself mm -hmm. first, but mm -hmm. at the same time, it takes a village. You know, it yes, does take a village. Yes, and, and uplifting one another exactly. so that What's exactly. What's that movie that T I was in? They were skating. Roll, um, roll bounce? No. You ain't got to have no money. No, Atlanta. Oh, ATL. Yeah, I was like, what? <laughs> he was like, roll bounce. You ain't got to be a dope boy to have money. <laughs> exactly. You don't. Like oh, that was Bow Wow. You ain't got to be a dope that's what we I mean, need. Because like, for so many years, now, decades, we've, the dope boys has now? been the ones that's been influencing yeah. our young culture, yeah, our young yes. boys. Yeah. You know, the because that's the only now. way that, for a minute, our people felt like they the could get in to get the money. The got $26 million. The geeks are the new dope dealers. Fortnite. Exactly. The geeks are the new dope dealers. It's about damn time. I mean, just just even, you know, from the, from a real person standpoint, when you come from a line of being be being hustling be and being doing this mm -hmm. nowadays, be the new the new the geeks are the hustlers, the scammers, they're geeks because it's they're getting it's, the it's they're no getting way to it's no other knowledge. way to put it. The swipers, they're yes. geeks. Yep, you know, it's true. The, the social people, social network people that tell you I'll turn you. Turn your hundred into ten thousand. Yep. They're geeks. They got you to send them a hundred bucks. Yeah, a I thousand got, of y'all. A thousand mm -hmm. people. To a thousand people send them a hundred bucks. You. I don't know how. Well, so we, and that's why you look you know at the people like, well, God, like, why do people even Free bother Bernie with those phishing off. emails and all that kind of stuff? But some because they only do. need but, uh, like, dude, they send out a, like a hundred thousand. They need if I get 10, four. Up, if exactly, I get, four people. They need four literally you, to click on it. And do what they got to do, like all the ransomware attacks and that kind of stuff, you know what? dude. They, they, That's every time you turn around, dude. Shit. New York City got shut down. Baltimore got shut down yeah. because of a ransomware attack. Mm. Mm. It like it just goes in and it locks all their computer files, and unless you pay I it, talk about this computers this are gone. Told me something that was kind of so smart to me. What's that? He was like, when I would get when I would get tight for cash, I would go to a, a college apartment building and I would rent out an apartment and I would pay. What seven hundred to eight hundred dollars a month? He was like, I would move into a motel, and I would put an ad in the paper for the apartment that I was living in, and I would say a fifty dollar um, application, application fee. Oh my god! And, and I would run it. it for thirty to sixty days. Yeah. And, and how many money. ever applications I would get, I would just finally choose one person. Right. And let them live in there. And that's what and apartment building is. And I would tell them it's only for 30 days. Though. Apartments build. That's what do apartments do. <laughs> you $25 application fee, yeah, $75 application fee. And, and you don't even people. know if you're going to get it. You're not going to get it. 2,500 people. Exactly. That you're not going to get it. <laughs> I got a felony. I didn't even know that apartments don't accept people with felonies. So for wow. like a whole year, I was putting applications in for apartments wondering why the hell I'm not getting accepted. You got a felony. So finally, when one lady. I was just like I was I was hella frustrated. I was in the apartment building. I was I was with a, a young lady, and I was like, man, I'm getting out of here because it was already like five or six people in front yeah. of me. And I was like, I'm getting out of here. They ain't gonna choose me anyway. And the girl heard me. She was like, why you, why wouldn't you get choose? What's wrong with you? And I was just like, man, I got a felony. I think that's the reason I keep. You know what I'm saying? And she was like, you been in prison? I was like, yeah. She was like, was it for guns or drugs? I was like, yeah. She was like, oh, yeah. we not gonna accept you. You wow. might as well just put your thirty five dollars exactly. in your pocket. Because they see that, that they don't want that yeah. coming to their well, property. Which again brings you back to, and that's the issue 
of what happens when people get out. Exactly. Mm-hmm. You know, one of the one of the I'm shows that we have, the returning citizen. Time. It's all about that whole yeah. like how do people you know, deal the when they on. get out of jail? And you being stereotyped oh, and judged before you even get in the door. Hence the new Jim Crow. Right. <laughs> and that's the thing, like you know, you said about being rehabilitated. Oh, by the way, you got slapped with a felony. This election doesn't matter to you. Yeah. You right. can't, can't vote. vote. I can vote. I can vote. I've been voting since I got out. As a felon? Every time. How? Look it up. I can vote every time. Don't believe yeah, that, you guys. Can vote now. You can vote if you're a felon. You That's one of the things that they give us. Really? Felons they changed that. that. Can, I've been voting oh, did since they I finally? Got out. Yeah. Oh, I, wow. I've been voting since I got out. I got out in 2011. Oh, I've been voting. I voted for Obama. You I voted know. for. Um, not you know, Trump. I, I didn't vote for Trump. Our analyst is, 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 is that, 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 voted for our, uh, our analyst is on it right now. Okay, yeah. eight states: Alabama, Arizona, Delaware, Florida, Kentucky, Mississippi, Tennessee, and Wyoming allow some, but not all, persons with felony convic- convictions to vote after having completed their sentences. It doesn't say anything about Michigan, though. You Let's see. Type so it says Maine and Vermont are the only states with unrestricted voting rights for people who are felons. Michigan residents confined in jail or prison who are awaiting arraignment or trial are eligible to vote. However, residents who are serving a sentence in jail or prison after conviction cannot vote during the period of confinement. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah during vote. the period of confinement. Yeah, only well, how would you be able to vote anyway? Yeah. Absentee exactly. ballot? Absentee, yeah. Well, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's true. No, I've voted since I've been home every time. Oh. And the people My main man, he's a voter. Yeah, yeah, so as long as you're out and vote. As long as you're not an inmate, you can vote. Shout Let's out Patrick Wimley, we voting. Wimley. Yeah. They voting, babe. Exactly. We voting. Joel Jones, we got you, babe. 2020. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> Uh, I didn't realize they changed that. Cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Which is we coming good up with real because good it's about on here, time. Right? Yeah, because like that's you awesome. said, he got his voter registration. Uh, seriously, that's awesome. Like, Look I'm at him. Voter voter yeah. Put it in the camera. Look at that kid. guy. Put that in the camera. Voters. We got here. Get out there and get your vote. Voter. You can absentee. Like people don't so even make sure, make, make sure you put it. Make sure you put his address right there on the camera. I feel like we know where to go. Talk of it. Oh, damn. Uh, Recipe pop, pop smurf. Can we edit that, that out? Can we edit that out? It just went out live. Yeah, it went out live. <laughs> you just, Nobody you saw just anything. Pop smoke's friend. I mean, well, okay. Uh, you good. You good. You good. You don't even live there. We moved. You don't even live there anymore. Nobody stays there I mean, no more. If they, really, if they really wanted you, they'd know you were here right now. Exactly. So. They don't know where he is. You got some haters? Actually. Oh. Mm, well, at least it's you okay. are a registered voter at the end of the day. I You're doing register. something positive. Hey. And hey. now I hope that other black young black <laughs> men like go right vote. That's cool, man. Because like Dave said, you can just do an absentee ba- ballot. I think a lot you of people don't, don't want to go vote because they yeah. just lazy. Go vote, guys. They don't know how and to. And they feel like, at the pink party, yeah, you got to go through all these. We did rock the vote. We did rock the vote. We did, we did the Rock the Vote no. at and my I'm party. I'm not gonna lie. At our party. I had never heard of Rock the Vote. I'm gonna tell the truth right now. I was like, "What the <laughs> oh, hell?" Oh, that dude. Rock that was vote? like when it's I was. It's an older school, one, but it's like yeah. it's like getting the the hipsters, mm-hmm. the hip to people go out and vote. to go out and vote. Same because, thing. like I told uh, Patrick Wimley when before we did the party, before me and you and him did the party, I said that the the people that. Most of the people that seventy percent of the people that we hang around don't vote. Don't know who you, mm-hmm. and they don't know. They who don't you know are. who you are, mm-hmm. and they don't. These people, they, and ninety percent of these people aren't coming out for a mayoral election. No hell no. Right. They'll and come out for may- the big one. The big yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. But the mayoral election, the, the do you know the polls were eight hundred and ninety votes and things like that. That's how. Uh, oh, like three percent turnout. There, Byron Nolan was yeah. winning with with, with eleven hundred votes. Well, dude, <laughs> because people look at the presidential election out of twenty two thousand people, yeah. eleven hundred votes, right. nine hundred. Dude, look at votes. the presidential election. I had never even seen. There was what four million total votes? Five million total votes? It, Not you, a lot. That's crazy. And we got how many? Three hundred million and change. Exactly. Mm. Four million. And people and people don't understand. Trump won because of seventy six thousand votes mm-hmm. in three states. Mm-hmm. Seventy six thousand votes. And there are more, dude. There were more than seventy six thousand people that yeah. did not want that fucker yeah, elected. They watched the yeah. Super Bowl. That 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 could have. Yeah. How many people watched the Super Bowl? Exactly. Oh yeah. Versus who went out. But yeah. see, that's the that's the but narrative you, that yeah, they're hundreds scared of. Million, yeah. A lot of people don't want to push the the narrative of some of these stars can make things happen. I mean, yeah. it's stars, they internet, did with internet Obama. bloggers. Inbox they yeah. went crazy they for, went Obama. Crazy for Obama. Obama. And it turned, and you see, he won. It wasn't yeah. even First no black guy yeah. really, He won. 
You know, and he won, and he wasn't even like it a, wasn't no close. He wasn't call. even like the person of interest. He became the person of interest. Yeah, like, he the, the, the beginning exactly. he was nobody even knew who this guy was. He was a first term dude, first term out of, everything. Out of Illinois, that nobody Obama, knew about. nobody knew who yeah. he was before, he, was. before he became president. Like literally, didn't know who he was. I then remember he built locally, it. locally, he won the, yeah, locally, but, but, locally, but, but any, nationally, nationally, of nobody not. knew no. who he was. Nobody, no. knew, nobody knew. I who definitely he was. didn't know who he was. I mean, he's definitely cousins with like, George yeah, Bush, yeah. but you know, yeah. I mean, you know, you nobody know, talks about that. We give and take. It give and take a little most bit. Most of us probably are. Some of us. I mean, might what be. can you get away from? Well, you no, can't get away from white America. For the no longest way. time, there was I forget what it was. There's no way to get away from white America. I think oh, it's forty out of the forty five presidents Unless we've we had with trace one back to the yeah. same family tree. Exactly. Yes. It's a bureaucracy. Man. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> they do that. If you I don't build like with one another, you'd never be able to get to be. I mean, yeah, but like two four eight zero nine five thousand four. Call in. Unrelatedly, I kind of feel like if. There's no like family heritage with you being, with your family being, you know, yeah, you a don't president. Re- you really can't get nowhere, really. It's, it's sad. Yeah. You like have to. You got to have a lineage. Somebody yes. is somewhere. <laughs> well, and you have to be willing to put up with the bullshit. That's it's a lot of Dude, bullshit. George Washington with. said it best the person that wants the job the most is the last person you want to have the job. Exactly. Yeah. Because, dude, mm. like, how, dude, I would never put my family through living that. under that kind of microscope no. and dealing with that kind of, like, just realize this. Donald Trump, for the rest of his life. Fuck that bitch. Our tax pay, <laughs> our tax <laughs> dollars. Are going to pay him. Are paying for his Secret Service agents for the rest of his life. For the rest of his life. Right. Shame. No matter what. No matter yeah. what. No matter what. No matter how much we hate him or not. Yeah. No no matter they got to be with him the rest of his too. life. Yep. I mean, now granted, they ain't going to be the A team, but <laughs> I mean, the B team ain't team. cheap. The B team. <laughs> or the C exactly. team. I, I, remember the, I remember the rapper okay. saying, you got to pay. He, they was arguing. He was like, you got to keep those $700 a day dudes around you. And I was like, damn, you said, what is he talking about? And security for a rapper was $700 that's a day. That's per person. Per person. Damn. Yeah, that's cheap. Damn. It is. That's cheap for a real rapper. Because some security companies cost seven hundred dollars a day, and that's so for if you one got guy. Ten of those guys. That's seven thousand every day. Yeah, yeah, that's cheap. That's cheap. That's, that's not cheap. even top security. That's right. no. That's a uh, big dog. Mm. Yeah, from the hood. Yeah, big dog. <laughs> ex cop. Big something. dog yeah. in front of the hood. <laughs> ex cop, like you say, hood. like you say, ex, ex cop. <laughs> mm-hmm. Ex Detroit police officer, yep. stuff like that. They do it too. Yeah. That's not for when. Uh, that's not for ex CIA. I don't, I'm not going. And I know that's not for ex DEA. What's the vice officer. president's name? Uh, Mike, Biden. Mike Pence. Biden. Biden. Oh, Pitt, Pence right now. Pence right Pence now. Pence is right mm-hmm. now. Pence? Yes. Biden was Biden with. was Obama's. Obama. Yes. Okay, Pence came to. I work at Ford. Fuck that guy he too. He came to Ford. Did you it, see the guys? I. Man, did you say fuck you? There was so many Shut police up. at work, man. Walking down your line, dude. We talking about dude. That's the thing. Pence is Trump's of, bulletproof vest. Yeah, there was a row of police in front of another mm. row of police in front of another around row him. Of police in front of another row of police in front of some guys in suits with little things in their ear with the guy with the fake arm. I know y'all seen him. That's a gun. It's a gun. Yeah, it's I a, have the fake arm. You know what I'm that's saying? That's real. He got a fake arm, but he got his, his real arm is holding the gun. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's Not real. Exactly. Yeah, and after him, here comes Pence, and after Pence. It's another row of police, and then another row yeah. of police, and then another row of police. You like, man, nah. you, how do he even go pee? <laughs> he can't. True. Right. How he go to the bathroom? He pisses on the bus. Mm. I'm serious, like he literally pisses place on the bus. Well, I mean, and there's there's the a US. reason why they do that. Yeah. Like, so I had a I had a buddy of mine <laughs> uh, when I because I lived in D.C. before I moved out here, and I had a buddy that was Secret Service, mm. and like like the the truest axiom that they that they understand is that if someone is willing to trade their life for another person's life, there is nothing you can do to stop them. Like, if, if someone is truly dedicated to taking somebody out, exactly. there's not a damn thing that you can you, do to stop they them. They gonna get them. So that's why it's not one Secret Service agent. It's 12. Right. It's 20. You're gonna have it's to get through the rows. 50. Like, you're gonna, yeah, it's, I mean, because again, because you have to get through 50 contingency of them just planning. to shoot him. Yeah. Like, yeah, yep, you can take out, you probably, you can take out five but six is going to get you. I'm not going to mm-hmm. lie. You might, you know, I'm you might take out 10, but it's no 40. But 11 going to get you. Your, exactly. your life don't matter to mine as, as much as mine. It, I, if I'm saying it right, your life, I'm not about to. 
protect you. No, it's some people that are. That's I'm not no, but that's, about to protect you. No, but that's, dude, that's right. their job. Exactly. That's their job. A lot yeah. of them are ex-military, so they already go in with that mentality of Hoorah. the job. Exactly. Yeah. Hoorah, Simple Five. I'm not Literally. about to sign up to your That's job. you. To get protect this guy. Well, but, but and it here's, doesn't but here's happen the thing. all the time. It's a, number one, it's a selective detail. Yeah. Like, I mean, it's like you have to say, I want to do it. Because I mean, like, let's be real. I'm I'm quite sure the guys who were the Secret Service agents that were around Obama probably not the same Secret Service agents that are around Trump. Yeah. yeah. Um. You know, because that's part of it. Am right. I willing to take a bullet for, for, this, for this person? Yeah. Just like, am I will? And it's lo- and there's to some degree, it's am I willing to take a bullet for this office? Yeah. Exactly. Maybe, but. Knowing who person. sits in that chair, yeah, like maybe right not. Now, <laughs> when he come home, he gonna need security, and I know who's that. This job better cost five thousand a day. Fuck seven hundred, six nine. When six nine come oh, home Tekashi? from jail, he got a Tekashi. Tekashi. He got a ten million dollar record deal when he come home. He gonna need security, and you just told on a. One of the yeah. biggest New York blood gangs. I mean, I figure I would figure, be his I would figure somebody exactly. would be his security though. Before the simple fact is they know it's it's people that just want to I mean, the they money. might be getting a check. That don't mean don't when it comes down to it, they're going to It's some people don't give a fuck about him being a child. <laughs> they might get out the way. No, yeah. you'll get, dude, you'll get might, the Blackburn folks. You you'll get. You risk your life? I'm no, not doing that. But, dude, look at, it, look at the guys that do the, um, do like the security living, in the Middle East. You know, you know, dude, and they get they get a shit ton. Because here's the thing. If you're willing to throw enough money at a problem, the problem can go away. The problem gets fixed. So, no. The seven hundred dollar guys ain't gonna take that job. No. Right. The five thousand dollar guys probably ain't gonna take that job. The ten, fifteen, twenty thousand dollar a day guys, oh they taking that job. They'll take that job, mm-hmm. and they and, with you all year, and, and they don't care. And he with like, you all, he with you all year long. Watching if your something kids. happens, all right, there's ten other people waiting to pay us that money. Right. I mean, it's bad. It's bad cred for them if something happens. But yeah, you know, dude, seriously. But but so then, but then you look at the aftermath. Hey, we because again, this is the whole contingency planning thing. We told him not to go to that concert. We told him exactly. not to go. It do was that. a we high told, risk we situation. We told him risk we there. We but, told him yeah. not to, and he PR chose people. to do it anyway. Right, putting a job, making a job. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like when I watched them do that video in Chicago, I'm not being your security for this. Chicago but he was in and out is, the car so fast. But yeah. I didn't. He was in and out known, the car in seconds, man. How would I have He's, known that you was gonna do it for seconds? You get what I'm saying? Yeah, they told him. They could have came straight out like. Brr, yeah, they could. Yeah, yeah, they could. They don't play out there. Yeah, but he was in and out without nobody knowing exactly his location. Yeah. He knew. He did it for yeah. like you, three seconds. Three yeah, some seconds. people you gotta he, see. He flew are all they really trying to get him that? Yeah, cloud chasing. I'm just saying, like to that point where they. Like you got certain hit men. I got men twenty million that views on that. Man. That was some money. Sometimes black, you know, not to be, you know, you know but sometimes, Stereotypical. yeah. But yeah, most of our culture people, they not there. You have some hit men. Don't get me wrong, but some of them, when they just out trying to be gang gang, they not really got the whole focus down like somebody that's a that's their job is to go in right. there, take you out, and yeah. keep it. Is going. it a sniper yeah. or is exactly. it a spray and pray? You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's a difference. Like mm-hmm. they not gonna. Come up on that much security versus somebody that's in the window. They like, oh, there we go, blop, he's dead. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's a different with the skill set. Yeah, is. I'll take you out from three blocks away on a rooftop. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> exactly. And, ain't, and ain't nobody gonna fi- but, and, but and nobody's gonna find me. Yeah, nobody's, nobody's gonna stop you because where's he, he about to have to do his shows in these parks? Yeah, but like you said, like he don't have security. He's not a Trump. He's not a Trump. Where yeah, he's not he gonna have us. And everybody just don't have them goods to be like, I'm about to go out in the middle of the street. Compton, California. Trump don't got to go to Compton. Takashi do. He don't. He doesn't have to. Because his fans going to go, gonna go these... where he go. If they say, well, we, we going to be in Pasadena, then they going to go to Pasadena. Mm-hmm. It's worse than Pasadena. Even, it's not because even not people that aren't his yeah, fans. Yeah. Even people that aren't his <laughs> fans. Yeah, I feel what you're saying, though. Yeah, but he, he, he going to have to go his, wherever they. His people, you know what I'm saying? His, his fan following. Base is, is his fan base is yeah, basically who. But I'm saying, they going to go to where the stadium is. Like, oh, you here, we here. Cause that's what fans do. Man, hell, I, I ain't you know how many people yeah, drive yeah, down yeah. here from sh- two, three hours mm-hmm. away just to go see a concert? I'm going to New Orleans to see Kay Trinata. I went that to New York. To see. If that isn't dedication, Dude, I'm I don't trying know to what the fuck it is. Going to Los Angeles. Do it for a con. Do Dude, it. This thing, it's like every. 80s first wave band that I love oh, is wow. at this one day 
May second. It's re- it's ridiculous. I mean, how if stacked you don't, is, and I'm like, like yeah, you know, you fat people. Go. I can probably. How that far way. would y'all go to see an icon? Or to see, see your favorite pop star. I you almost know, to went see to see your favorite I artist. I almost went yep. to Spain how to see Highly Suspect. How far would you go? How where did you go? I almost went to Spain to see Highly Suspect. And what stopped you? Um, not wanting to go to Spain and not knowing how to speak the language. That was the only thing that stopped you. Going yeah, the language country. barrier. Yeah, going to if another. If you knew a couple of the couple of a little bit of the lingo, you I would have gone. Like I was on the page to buy the tickets, and I was like, "Court, what are you doing? What are?" You don't even speak Spanish. You don't even know where to go. You would be going by yourself. Is this what you want to do? And yeah, this is how you wind up in a slavery lane. Exactly. <laughs> what? By yourself. Literally. And, and yeah. C-Dex was never seen. Ain't again. nobody that <laughs> highly suspect ain't even thinking Literally. about you, girl. Yeah. No, not at all. So that, they didn't even see you in the crowd? No. Not to go by my I head. was so close to them, though, last okay. weekend. Okay, then. Fuck. That was, oh, shit. That was awesome. It was so good. Oh, it's a rock band? Yeah. yeah. It was great. You, um, what's up, man? Where you? Who you go see? Who you go see? Uh, out the uh, state of who made you come to Las Vegas to see him? Mm, who, um, New York. A female. It wasn't no singer. Okay then. I'm about to say, who was she you? made you come far and wide. It wasn't that far. Uh, yeah, uh, I went to Chicago. That's three hours. That's no mm, fucking way. Yeah, but I didn't drive what the though. Fuck I was, is that she at? asked me to come that day. So oh, you left plane. out that day, though. I went on a plane. That it, day? It'd take me 30 minutes. Right. That day? A half an hour. Yeah. You did it that day? Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. I get. I feel I went, like a You the shit. I went to Phoenix from Boston shit. for a girl. I get yeah, it. you the shit. Right. I don't know if I ever did that. Did I? No. No, I never went and nowhere sadly, like that either. I gotta run. Is okay. It? I was about to say, what's time? Party, party. Yeah. Okay, fellas. 32. Women, ladies. He's going somewhere. Dudes. Appreciate y'all tapping in. This is the V Live crew. Woo woo! ADC Bakes here and Anthony Anderson. Anthony. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you. Thank Even you if you did it. <laughs> we'll talk to you cool next too. Friday <laughs> on podcast with George. Dot com. V Life. V Life. Peace. Oh. Shorty, put my address in. <laughs> no, the fuck. <laughs>